you find the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be repotting some bell peppers. I already did one before I started the video. Here's the other one. So you can see it already has some fruit, which is a good thing. But it's in a small pot. So since I now have that um, five gallon little setup that my husband built for me on Mother's Day, now I can start putting some of the things that I know I'm going to really keep around in my five gallon buckets. So that's what we're doing today. I will show you the one that I already bought up. It's been mulched. I've added a mixture of potting mix. I like miracle Grow, the one with moisture control because it helps with either overwatering or underwatering. And I tend to overwater sometimes. And plus, I'm in Florida and we're entering the rainy season. So that's a good potty mix to use. I like it. The other thing that I like to add um, to also continue to help with moisture control is peat moss. Um, and then I'm going to add some compost. And what I'm going to use is cow manure just because I have a little bit left. So I want to get rid of that. Towards the end, I'm going to add bone meal. And that helps with phosphorus and calcium. And I'll put that on top of the topsoil before I add the mulch. Then I'll water it. I water it after I add the mulch just because I don't want that water splashing up on the leaves or even some of the dirt splashing up on the leaves. So, the first thing I'm going to add is my potting mix. So, I have it in this garbage can just because it's easier for me to just dump the bag out and put it in here. So, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to do about a third of the potting mix, a third of the peat moss, and then whatever I have left of this cow manure. The brand um, that I'm using for this cow manure is the Black Cow. And like I said, the potting mix that I tend to buy is the Miracle Grow. And for peat moss, you can find that at any like tractor, tractor supply store. And it comes in a bit compressed bag so what i did was i already kind of broke it down and put it in here just because it's easier for me to show you guys and add the rest of the commoner that i have here and then i'm going to mix it around I'm going to add my plant, and then I'm going to add a little bit more of potting soil on top. But I want to get this plant in there, probably more like in the middle of this bucket, because what I want, I want that plant to be able to stretch. I want the roots to be able to get down deep. We have a solid root system, then we have a healthy plant. That's the goal, right? So I'm going to add some more potting soil. A few more. And listen, it's quiet right now, but if you hear any noise, that means that my toddler is running out here. Alright. I got that. I'm going to be careful, but look at those root systems. You can see the roots. It has really nice, good roots. But we wanted to establish a good root system here. We want to dig, I kind of like dig a little hole in the middle. Kind of like a well in the middle. And then I'm going to use this to get some more potting soil. There we go. Cover that up. And this potting soil, it already has a good mix of bark and P 
peat moss and some fertilizer in there. But I like to add more of the peat moss just to continue to help with the moisture. And see, I have some leaves hanging here at the bottom. I'm just going to clip those off. So what I'm going to do is add a tablespoon of my bone meal. And like I said, that, that adds phosphorus and calcium. And a lot of time when you see the yellowing of the leaves or your plant is looking real droopy, if you know it's not a, a problem with either the overwatering or underwatering, then it's pretty much because, well, especially if you have an issue with overwatering, then your plant is having a hard time of sucking in that calcium. So I definitely want to set this plant up for success by starting off with that calcium. So then I'm going to add my mulch because I, I, I mixed that into the soil. And like I said, I like to mulch it first before I water it. Just so that soil is all covered up. And you can use whatever mulch you like. I mean, it doesn't. I got that for like $3 and some change at Lowe's. Alright, so there we have it. Do a really deep watering until you see that water draining out the bottom and I have some really large holes at the bottom and then there you go repotted our bell peppers